Hey, Sagittarius. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading for you all. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Sagittarius. So let's hop in. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know. What do you guys need to know here at this time? Oh, yeah. Very quick before we hop in. The 2023 year ahead reading is now available on my website, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book it on my online shop, mytearshappyoutofmyheart.com as well. Um, but I pinned the information in the comments and I also um, put it in the description box below. All right, guys. Um, other than that, let's hop in. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know in here at this time. Sagittarius. Let's see, Spirit, what message do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know in here at this time? All right, so we have guidance that came out. All right. And it says, release the past. Sorry, release the past to the internal winds and allow new energies to enter your life. You are a creation that is vast and endless with no beginning and no end. Allow your life to flow like a river. The spirit of life will guide you and keep you safe. All right, I'm loving this. So, Sagittarius, you guys are needing to release and let go of the past. Okay, I'm not saying it has to be a person, but whatever you guys have been holding on to, whatever you guys dealt with in the past, of course you can't release it all. But obviously there must be something like bothering you, affecting you, possibly trigger you guys, or it's just something that you know you just really need to heal. Maybe something you kind of like bury, put to the side, and it's time, okay? It's time for you guys to release this so you guys can step into a new energy, okay? You guys, um, it's time for a shift. So, um, the spirit of life is here to guide you and keep you safe. So, angels, your spirit guides, ancestors, God, universe, source, whoever you guys believe in, they're around you, they're supporting you, they're helping you, and they're guiding you through this. And they really want you to release this. So you guys, um, for example, something of your past may keep coming up or you may be reminded of something of the past or, you know, it, it could be synchronicity around you, something like that. That is a sign that the universe is wanting you guys to heal that, to release that, to let that go. And that's their way of showing you or telling you what you need to release and let go of. So you will know, and it's going to be different for all of you guys. Okay, Sagittarius? So that is your message, guidance. Okay? Let's hop into your reading. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. All right, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. And love. Let's see. Sagittarius. Did something flip over? Okay. I'll take that one. Sorry, I thought something flipped over. Or did it? No. Alright, sorry about that, y'all. So we have compromise, settling disputes, coming to an agreement, getting counseling. So some of you guys could be getting counseling, talking to somebody. This could be um, relationship, marriage counseling. You guys are ready to Settle your disputes with this person. So if you guys had your differences, both of you guys are willing to compromise because there's two people here. And are this can yeah, it looks like you guys are just ready to tell me your differences. Like, or maybe just have a talk about it. But let's see. We only got one card out so far. So let's see. So somebody is ready and willing to compromise. Oh, but then we have revenge. Lashing out in anger, holding on to grief. Time to forgive and forget. Okay, so, okay. So, for some of you guys with these two cards, it could be Sagittarius that maybe your person doesn't want to compromise with you, but they feel like you may lash out. They feel like you're holding on to things that happened in the past and that you can't really forgive them or that you're not really forgiving them, but you're telling them that you are, but you keep bringing it up. Or it's like you're trying to get through to your person, Sagittarius, and they lash out. They're always angry. They're holding on to something that happened in the past. They can't let it go. They can't, you know, forget it, forgive you or something like that. But that's that's the issue right here with these two cards. It's like 
I feel like you guys are either going to settle your differences or you want to. And let this, let whatever you guys are holding on to go. Okay, because somebody kind of like has a grudge or there's some like resentment or a lot of hurt there and pain. Or it's like you guys do compromise, but then it's like somebody brings up the past. Okay, and then it's like you guys are back where you were at. And it's like then it doesn't move forward because you guys are stuck in that past energy again. Okay, so it says chained, feeling tied down, unable to get away, anchored in a relationship. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on. Maybe you guys do feel like you're unable to move on from this person because this could be somebody that you really want to be with. Maybe they feel tied down. You could. Somebody kind of feels bound and chained. Mm -hmm. Let's pull one more message, Sag. Let's see. One more message for Sagittarius. And we have Rocky Road. Yeah, challenging journey together. Facing obstacles must work to overcome. So, okay. So, Sagittarius, this reading is for those of you that have been through a lot. It has been one hell of a journey with this person. It has been very challenging. It has very, it's been very rocky. Okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. Like, So, whoever is watching is like... If this is like a new love or something like that, probably not. This is like somebody that you've been with, you've been dealing with them. You guys know each other for years or it's been on and off. It's just been crazy. It's been rocky. You try to let go and then you can't let go. You want to forgive them, but then they hurt you again. You can't. It's just like you're wounded. You're trying to compromise. So it's like it's one of those relationships. So we have gifts of love, token of appreciation, giving and receiving, embracing what you have. We have healthy choices. And so I'm seeing here is that they need to appreciate you, Sagittarius. Somebody needs to be appreciated in this relationship. Somebody needs to give more. Somebody um, needs to give more to the relationship. Somebody needs to appreciate you or somebody needs to be appreciated, like I said. Um, clearing up your act, taking care of yourself, choosing better partners. So we have healthy choices. So somebody needs to clear up their act and take care of themselves. Or I'm just seeing you guys choosing better partners are going towards something better but after that we have heart and not heart and knots so unsure about your partner emotionally confused mixed signals and then we have contact so i also feel that um sagittarius at times you guys have moved on and moved away from this person or let go and got with somebody that you know appreciated you or gave you more and it was a better or healthier choice and you start taking care of you and you know you ignore them and let go but then you have mixed feelings, mixed emotions, or you get confused, or you're just unsure, or you still have these feelings for them. So it kind of comes in between whatever new you start, new relationship you start, and then we have contact, or they meet up with you, or contact you, or reach out, you know, and then it's like the cycle starts all over again, okay? So, let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Alright. So let's do our compromises here for um, Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Alright, so let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Alright. It's my thinking, contemplating, but looking at what they invested and put into the relationship. So what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, could be an earth sign you guys are dealing with towards Virgo Capricorn. You feel that you have invested and put a lot into this relationship. And you don't see a change or anything changing between you guys. Okay? Because the seven dimensions was, is what we invested. So like if it was a job or something and you're at your job, you're like, okay, I bust my ass off. I work hard every day. Where's my raise? When am I going to get promoted? Stuff like that. It's like you want to see the fruits of your labor. You want to see something come out of what you put into and i feel like in this relationship you don't see that and now you're thinking about what you invested and put into this relationship we have the two of pentacles and we have the nine of pentacles some of you guys are you know back and forth about being single debating should you be single or not from this person i feel like to go from the seven to the nine of pentacles i also see when you guys are away and separated from this person you're more focused your money looks better okay um but some of you guys are just like, 
not sure if you want to be single and just, you know, like you got to meet somebody and get to know them all over again. I mean, not get to know them all over again, but get to know somebody and go through all that again. But you guys are back and forth. So some of you guys are back and forth as to whether or not you want to be single, stay with this person. You're thinking about what you're invested in. I see you want peace. You're tired of the, um, the drama. There could be a, some baggage here. But I will say, Sagittarius, you won't know unless you make a decision. Okay? So, let's see. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Five is here for Sagittarius. The Tower. So, if you don't make a decision, the universe is going to make one for you. Okay? All right, Sagittarius? Because we have the Tower here. The Tower is things crumbling down, falling apart. The universe is stepping in because you can't seem to make this decision. The Nine of Cups reverse is telling me that you guys feel shattered, broken, hurt. You know, um, you're not happy. You know that this person is selfish. You know that you're settling or you feel like you're settling. Okay? For some of you guys, if this is a marriage, you're doing this because you don't want to give up. You rather fight for, fight for this marriage or this relationship with the Knight of Swords. And the four of wands, seven of wands, reverse. Like, you don't want to give up. You rather fight for it because we have temperance here. And that's your energy, Sagittarius. So it's like you, act, you actually want to fight for this. Okay? You don't want to give up. You don't want to let go of this. But I do see if you guys don't make a decision, Sagittarius, the universe is going to make one for you or they're going to step in. And if they step in or make a decision for you, it may be, you know, harder to deal with or end, you know? Because it's the universe forcing them out or forcing the situation to end. So let's see why the tower is here. You guys are dealing with a Scorpio. Into the tower. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups. So let's see how this is going to play out. Because we have the Nine of Wands. And this is someone guarded and upset. This is you persevering through the situation. Tired. Tired of what you're going through and dealing with. You know, it's always something going on. But... I feel with this energy here, this is what needs to end, Sagittarius. I know the Ten of Cups is here, but remember, tens are endings. And I feel for some of you guys, you guys can be so caught up in wanting the Ten of Cups with this person. Or you feel like it's the Ten of Cups, or like I said, I feel like this is your goal, this is what you want. But it's not going to happen in this way. So it's saying like you can get your Ten of Cups, but it's not going to either happen with them or happen in this way. To where you guys can't compromise, you're selling investing, you're not getting nothing out of it, you can't forgive them, you feel chained, it's rocky. So it's like, it's a lot that has to be done before you guys get to this in the cup, start your family, build and all of that. For some of you, there's going to be a blessing that comes out of um, an ending, okay? So maybe you might be going towards your ten of cups and leaving them behind. Or who knows, I don't know what's going to happen with the tower, who knows what the universe is going to do. Alright, so... Let me go to, um, I do want to go into compromise. All right. So we have, oh, wow, wealthy man. Park in reverse, family room in reverse. Thief in reverse. Despair in reverse. Okay. Somebody is becoming wealthy. Are you guys are about to meet a wealthy man? Sagittarius. Give me more information on this wealthy man. Because I feel like like when I seen that Ten of Cups and I said a blessing, some of you guys may go towards something better. Like you guys are meeting somebody that's rich or healthy or established. Why is wealthy man here? Yes, come through wealthy man for Sagittarius. Why is wealthy man here? You don't know this person. They're not from where you're from or from your community or town. Wow, looking great, fortunate house. Yes, that they can be on real estate, on some properties, but you haven't met this person yet. They're not from your neighborhood or you don't like nobody knows them. So some of you guys with great fortune, it's like you got somebody is going to get a blessing in a, and when it comes to a partner. Okay. Um. Yes, this is like a blessing in disguise. And I definitely feel like it's 
this is amazing because remember how I said we have the seven of pentacles. Remember the seven of pentacles is fruits of your labor, like what you put into something. Remember I told you Sagittarius. So some of you guys were putting in and investing in this relationship and doing a lot for this person and you weren't getting nothing out of it. Okay? And now you're about to meet a, a wealthy man or a wealthy woman. Okay? This is great fortune. Like, this is destiny. Good luck. This is like, luck on your side. The universe is looking out for you. And it comes with the Ten of Cups. And I also feel like with the community card, it's like, this person is different. You know, like I said, you don't know this person. No one knows them. This person is like wealthy. They got a good job. They're stable. Or they own some businesses or property. This looks good. So, yeah. If they ask us don't want to compromise, bye. Got me a wealthy man on the way. Okay? So, yeah. Mm, okay. Um. Mm, interesting. Let's look at... um. Let's look at this Rocky Road. How's Rocky Road here? Yeah, mature man. Yep. So, this person needs to mature. But I feel like, like I said in Sagittarius, I'm telling you, after it's all said and done, I just really feel like you guys are going to meet a mature man that is wealthy. It's going to be a blessing. Blessing in disguise with that tower and that ten of cups. That's just what I'm feeling for you guys. Thoughts was in reverse. I feel, and we have messages in reverse. And I feel like whoever this person is, you're going to just eventually stop thinking about them in this situation and move on and move forward. All right. But let's continue on. Why's revenge here? Why's revenge here for Sagittarius? Yeah. See, this person plays games. And I feel like every time you try to get something started, it doesn't go anywhere. Hey, the Pentacles is um, also karmic energy. But it's somebody that is childish and they are immature. Seven of Cups. It's just a confusing situation. You never know with them. There's always a lot going on. Or you, like I said, you just never know with them. With the seven of cups. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, the knight of wands. Hmm. I feel like the confusion or what confuses you guys is that, you know, at times, like, they, they act like they really want this and give in to this. But then their energy shifts and changes. Because the night, remember, nights are in and out. But we have a night of wands. Regardless if it's in the reverse or not, it's an in and out energy. Okay? It's for the time, for the moment. Let me see. Yeah, look, nine of cups in reverse. So, like I said, three of swords. And... I do feel like this person comes to see you. You guys hook up. You guys have a good time. Then they're out. So this can be in and out energy. Um, there could be third party energy around this with the Three of Swords. But I also feel like for a lot of you sad, you're tired of being heartbroken. And I feel like you guys been crying and praying and manifesting a real man to come into your life. King of Pentacles, look, with the, um, with the world card. And I feel like that's what you're going to get. I definitely see some type of heartbreak or pain. Um, and I see like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like... The universe is blessing you guys in love, but it's like they, they're going to take all your, your heartache and pain away and bless you with, like, this relationship, this situation. Or it's like you guys could have been, like, you know, praying and manifesting for this, and it's coming. It's just not with this person that you were with or want to be with. It's with somebody else. Because I see you guys no longer thinking about this person. Queen of Wands is very confident. I see something serious coming into your life, an offer, a new beginning, a new job, starting a business. A career change for you guys. Somebody was stopping you from all of that with the magician in reverse. Because maybe you just felt like you didn't have all the tools. Maybe you felt like you couldn't manifest the things that you wanted and the lifestyle that you wanted. And it was due to them. But temperance is also saying like patience. Like it, it wasn't the right time or maybe the universe didn't want you to do it with them. And now it's going to like come to fruition and manifest. You know, so let's see why chain is here. And I feel like you guys, like felt, like I said, chained to this person. You felt like you couldn't let go. You felt like you were um, bound in chain, probably stuck, possibly stuck for some of you. Let's see why chain is here. The lovers. Yeah, so you were really in love with this person. This was a soulmate connection for me, a Gemini. And you were in love with this person. This person had your heart. And you would do anything for them. But we have the Will of Fortune in reverse. There were some lessons here. Karmic lessons, karmic energy. There still is some, there is still is a karmic lesson and there still is karmic energy between you and this person. The Will of Fortune is in reverse. It's time for you to cut this person off or cut them out. 
you know, with the Queen of Swords here. This is a situation that just no longer serves you. It's just like, it's just not good for you. Going to the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Sagittarius? It's the Cups. Yeah, I see you guys going towards new love. Or you guys have new love coming in. Some type of love offers coming in. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to come back, though. Somebody is coming back to make a love offer. But I want to go into the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Because I feel like even if they come back and make this love offer, I don't I don't know. Let's see. It looks it looks good, but let's see. Why is Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Sagittarius? Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Sagittarius? Because it's like the Wheel of Fortune is you feeling like still feeling stuck. See the Six of Swords in reverse. Feeling stuck. Traps. <laughs> it's not moving forward. This is trouble coming your way. Okay? This is a situation that you need to get out of, and the longer you stay in it, the longer it's going to take you to get out of it, okay? All right, the more you keep letting them back in or going back, it's just going to be harder to leave. Let me see. Yes, the hangman in reverse. You need to free and release yourself from this person, this situation. It could be a, um, could be a Pisces. Yes, yeah, time for a new beginning, okay? So I do see something, like I said, something stable, solid, a new beginning, wish fulfillment coming in, okay? So... I don't know. I see this person is going to try to make some type of offer. But I feel like you've been waiting for this all year, dealing with this situation all year with this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like it's just been an ongoing thing. Like, it's just been dragging out. Yeah, I see Temperance came out. It was in reverse. So, yeah. You guys may still be clashing on and off. You know, um, Temperance in reverse could be you feeling like, you know, you love them more and they love you. Or it's like they keep doing things or little things or just keep doing things to piss you off. And every time you think you guys have reconciled your differences or are working on things, they do something. And it's just like you're back in that energy. Because this is an unstable energy when it's in reverse. It's like, it's like you, it, it's, your emotions are kind of like all over the place. You know, and they're, they trigger you, they piss you off, they get to you. Whoever this is, and we have judgment in reverse. It's just some type of repeated lesson, Okay. So Sagittarius, like you're not, you're not getting the lesson, learning a lesson. Not sure what it is for you guys, but it's been, it's a repeated cycle, it's a repeated lesson. It's something that you keep going over and over with. I mean, keep going through with them, over and over again. Okay, we have the Four of Cups, and then look, we have the World in Reverse. The Four of Cups is um, rejection, you know, loneliness, abandonment, stuff like that. And I feel like this person makes you feel like that, or that can be what you are needing to heal, and that probably is. What you were learning with them. Maybe you have an issue with like, you know, feeling rejected or abandoned or something like that. But I just fight this person leaves you hanging. Let's say with the Ace of Wands reverse. Don't put energy into this anymore. Stop putting energy into this. Okay, so um yeah. Yeah, it's time to make a it's time to make a decision. What did I tell you guys? Over here, I told you if you don't make a decision, the universe will make one for you. And this new beginning, this new path is gonna you're gonna be so much happier with the sun and the two of wands. Things are gonna look up, life is gonna be better, things are gonna be better. All right, so let's see. We have the um Rocky Road. Why is Rocky Road here? Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay? So it's time for you to get out of your head. Or you guys are out of your head. It's Eight of Swords in reverse. So you're out of your head. Um, I feel like you guys are realizing a lot. No longer stuck and trapped in these negative thoughts. Or you're just getting... Um, let me see. Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're no longer in your head anymore. And you're, and you're ready for this. So, like, you're ready... Or things either come to an ending or you're just tired because eight of swords ring first that's like you no longer in your head about the situation you're no longer dealing with the mental abuse or you're no longer like feeling just like just stuck and chained to the person's situation mentally you know you're it's like you're giving you're letting go you're giving up you're freeing yourself with the seven of wands reverse and the two of wands you're making a decision 
to move on and move forward because it has been either too rocky, too toxic, or it's just something that you feel like you guys can't seem to overcome and work on. And this is, here we go. This is your energy, Queen of Wands. Yes, and I love it with the Empress here and the Queen of Pentacles. Give me your money. I mean, get, getting your money, getting yourself together, staying grounded, about to manifest, or you have been manifesting, putting love and energy back into you with the Empress. Um, for some of you guys that are single moms, um, you're going to be like your bomb ass mom. You know, it's like you take care of your kids or your child. You're going to be very confident coming into the near future. Your energy looks really good, very passionate, very creative. Putting energy back into your um, ideas. And it was just like, this was like a long time coming, but you knew it had to be done and over with. Or you knew it had to come to like some, some type of ending. So, yeah, five of swords. So, they are going to try to convince you guys to stay, give them one more chance. But I feel like, because with the five of swords, that's them like telling you that they're going to change. Or it's like you guys are talking. There's There can be some, you know, back and forth energy or words that just are like, you know, where you guys are arguing a little bit, but you guys are talking and they're like, oh, I'm going to change, don't leave. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this, I'm going to do that. But we have the Three of Swords here, Two of Cups. I feel like they didn't think that they would lose you or that you would let go or move on. They're feeling stuck or they will be feeling stuck. And I see you guys moving on and moving forward. Okay? Maybe some of you guys are going to work on this relationship and, I don't know, maybe they're going to become wealthy and you know, mature and change, but how I see it, this is this is something new. It's new, it's good, it's healthy, it's a blessing. The universe is bringing it in for you guys. So, prepare yourself, Sagittarius, for this. All right, let's pull some um, love oracles, and then that will be a reading. Let's see. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, so you guys um, need to focus on self love. It came out in reverse. I'm gonna put it in the upright, but self love is key, Sag. All right, we have fear of failure. And we, she has take care of yourself um, on her face. It says take care. It's band-aids. So some of you guys are needing to take, to take care of yourself. Focus on self-love. That is important. Okay, I feel like you guys really went through a lot in this relationship. Wow, look. Someone new. What did I tell you guys? And I definitely feel that for you guys. All right, so let's see. Falling in love. So I see you guys meeting someone new and falling in love. Wow. And it says it is safe to fall. So whoever this new love is or whoever this new person is, it's safe for you to fall for them. It's safe for you to fall in love. It's going to be a good relationship. I feel like it's going to be a lot more balanced. Okay? So it's going to be good. Just focus on you. Take care of you. That self-love is what you are really need to do and focus on right now. Let me see. I'm going to for Sagittarius. All right, let's see. Sagittarius. Okay. Give and receive. Okay, so you guys are going to be getting gifts. Somebody's going to be giving to you. All right. Um, but I feel like this is just saying like whoever this new love is, it's safe for you to fall for them and fall in love. It's going to be an equal give and take. Whether it's giving and receiving. And then we have not for you. Okay. And we have give it time. So I feel like um, you guys are seeing that something is just like it's not for you. Or the situation is not for you. You may have to give it some time so that you can see it you know, or think things through or whatever, but I feel like you guys are definitely realizing that something is just not for you anymore, or this person is just not for you anymore. We have the sun is in reverse, and I clarified, we have Leo you guys were dealing with, but you're not happy, you're sad, you're depressed, like, I feel like you guys haven't been happy in a long time. On the card, like, she's, she can't even show her face, like, her hand is on the side of her face, like, she's just, like, over it. So I just feel like whatever's going on, this person is like, you haven't been happy in a long time. Okay, so it's time for you to be happy again. You deserve that, Sagittarius. All right. So that is your reading. That's what I have for you guys. 
If it resonated, show your girl some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. And I follow. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. And if you guys would love to book the um, 2023 year ahead reading, you guys can book that on um, my website, fireintuition.com. Or if you guys want to book using Afterpay, I put the um, year-round reading on my online shop, mytears.peelmyheart.com. All right. I love you, Sag. Stay dope. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, loves.